Hi friends, hello. Um, we are playing While the Iron is Hot. Um, I have scoured Game Pass, Steam, and various other platforms for the best, cutest looking indies in January 2024. Here we are. Um, this one looks absolutely adorable. It looks like it's got pirates, blacksmith. Is that a bull? A cow, a bull, some kind of bovine. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So let's see if this is as good as everybody has been saying it is. Um, and let's see if it's as cozy as everyone has been saying it is. So let's go. I haven't played this before. Um, I've just adjusted the sound settings because it was mega loud. Uh, but yeah, let's find out. Let's let's go. We can enter our name. That is something we can do. In a world where master artisans rule, we meet a young blacksmith who calls himself... I mean, that's a unisex name, right? Nyx has heard tales of Elian. Oh, that went way too quick. His dream to become a legendary blacksmith could come true if he could get there. As luck would have it, a captain and his crew from Elian are at the dock. Oh my god, that guy looks like Guybrush. Hammer in hand, he tells of his mission to reach Elian, but he needs a safe passage. Intrigued? They agree. The uh, the blonde dude in the middle between our character and the, the pirate captain guy looked like Guybrush Threepwood. And I love that. And I've just realised how old I am and that there will be people out there who do not know who Guybrush Threepwood is. Sad. Err, <laughs> blacksmith. So Gilly is our Guybrush. I'm surprised you slept through that storm. Thunder, loud as I ever heard. I slept like a baby. I, I could sleep to a storm, to be fair. Cap sent me to wake you up. He wants a word with you. Alright, I'll make my way to the deck now. There's one slight problem. Oh god. The storm damaged the ladder and I was told to fix it. But one of our crew thought it would be funny to hide me diary. I mean, me sailor's log. <laughs> Still can't find it. Maybe you could help me. Sure, but won't the captain be mad that I'm not going to him right away? <laughs> oh, this guy. Well, there is um, top secret information in there, so we need to find it. Oh, he's lost his diary, but don't read it, obviously. I can't do anything until I find me. I mean, sailor log, but once I've got it, I'll fix that ladder in an instant. I love how floppy his hair is. Uh, okay. Your energy gets depleted over time, make sure you keep an eye on it or you will pass out and have to pay for someone to bring you back to safety. Very stardew. Um, F to interact and then was do for everything else. Okay, I love how bouncy everybody's hair is. Can I just interact with anything? Oh, I can. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm betting the code to that is in this guy's diary. But I don't want. I feel bad reading it, you know. Oh, that—that that is nothing. We could we could climb up there. That is not the code. Surely that is not the code. One, two, three, four. I only proved three of those. I'm just gonna. It's probably not. It can't be that. Oh, he's so cute. It can't be that simple. It is not that simple. They are not numbers. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Can I talk to either of you? No. <gasps> What's this? I found Gilly's diary. I wonder what it says. I'm sure he's had some epic sea adventures. Are we gonna read it? <gasps> What are these? <gasps> okay. I am aspiring. Uh, what is this? I Gilly's diary. Oh, we shouldn't read this. But I'm gonna. <laughs> In fact, I'm not. I'm not gonna read this. I'm just gonna get these. So we've got a V, 
a Y, an L, and an O. My inventory on this is so cute. I love pixel art games. Uh, down we go. V, Y, L, O. I know you found in a chest you weren't supposed to access. Um. Access recipes at any time I press see. Oh, I got a recipe for an iron horseshoe. Oh, there's gonna be horses. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't wanna, why would I destroy anything? Why would I do that? I can't do that, I'm a hoarder. You found me sailor's log. Yes, I did, my man. Did you read it? No. <gasps> no, why would you admit that? <sighs> my dude. My dude, why would you admit that? Why would you? Oh, no. Why would you do us like that? <sighs> okay, so, wait, I need you to fix the ladder. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Oh, now I can't talk to him. Have I fucked myself already? <gasps> oh no. Oh. I need to go up the ladder. Why, why would you do this? Can someone else fix the ladder? Can you fix the ladder? No. Why won't anybody fix the ladder? Can I just go up it anyway? It doesn't look that bad. Let me. Oh my god, is it legitimately one of those? Wait. If I put everything else back. And then get something? Oh, what? Oh, that's so shitty. Ooh, look at all these people. Yeah, I know how to do that. Why won't you let me on the stairs? So the only thing I can interact with is that chest. I think was I think we've learned a valuable lesson here, friends. Um, this game <laughs> is going to hold you to a very high standard. Very high standard. <sighs> okay, we won't read the diary. I mean, every other game has instilled the need to loot. <laughs> and then this one is like, no, do not do that. Because that is bad. And in theory, in reality, yes, that is bad. But that's why we play video games. Because we can't get away with that in real life. The answers. Okay, I know where the diary is. Just don't read it. Maybe. If I don't read it, he'll give me like... Because like, I'm not too bothered about everything in the chest. The recipe is quite nice to have, I imagine. Maybe he'll give me the recipe. Because he knows I'm an aspiring blacksmith. If I return his his journal unread. 
No, we're not reading it. See, it even like it even prompts you to like take a peek. It's like, oh, one page wouldn't hurt. No, one page does hurt. And it gets you locked out of the rest of the game. <laughs> Ooh. It's a Valheim token I've made myself. It means I owe you a favor one day. I do like favors. I kinda... Oh wait, did you put... Did you put that there as your... Was that your fix? Oh my god, that was your fix. Good lord. <laughs> How do I come up with this? I don't know, my friend. Okay. I could have done that. <laughs> could have done that myself. <gasps> Ooh, shift, I can run. Yes. Wade, Pirate Captain Wade. Look, he's awake. Sierra Blacksmith, how very interesting. We've almost arrived at Elliot. Elliot's a pretty name for a place. Very soon, you'll have to prove you're as good as you say you are, mate. Till then, you work for me. I mean... Hmm. Why would I... Ugh. I mean, I guess I am getting free passage, but... Still. <gasps> Are we getting attacked? I didn't do that. That wasn't me. <laughs> I hope I didn't do that. We are under attack. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, there's an old man fishing. I hope this has, because it, it's so far, it's probably just because of the pirates, but so far it's had old school Monkey Island vibes. Um, so I'm hoping, ooh, title card. So I'm hoping it chills out a little bit. Um, but yeah, we, we shall see. Let's get into it. Let's -a go. My head hurts. Yuck, is that smell coming from me? Probably, my dude. From here as well, it makes it look like he's got a little man bun. And I love it. I think that's incredible. Humble beginnings. Figure out where you woke up. <gasps> it's convenient. He lives. I wasn't too sure when I found you washed up on the beach. I remember being on a boat, not sure how I ended up off it. Tristan? Tristan. Tristan. We're gonna go with Tristan. Not gracefully, I can tell you that. I'm Tristan, and you're in Stahl, the old blacksmith village of Elian. Oh, see, that's exactly where I needed to be. Look! It must have been some storm that rolled in just offshore and capsized the boat you were on. You would think I would remember clouds or rain. I remember the boat shaking, a loud boom, and then nothing. Well then, thunder it seems, but I won't stand here and think of all the what-ifs with you. I like this man. What about Gilly, the captain, and all the other sailors? I can't say for certain, but it doesn't seem likely that the others survived. Oh, I bet they have. I bet they have. They were washed up somewhere else. You were the only one I found washed up, but tell me, I noticed the hammer in your apron. What were you doing on this boat? Looking for you, sir. I'm a blacksmith. I was hoping to come here and start my own forge. Elian has a reputation for great talent. <laughs> Thank the fire gods! <laughs> oh my god, this man's amazing. Elian hasn't had a proper blacksmith for years. I presumed it was you. That means there is a position open for you, a master of the blacksmithing craft. It's not so bad that I washed up here, dare I say lucky. I mean, I feel like this little dude is overinflating his CV. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Follow me, I've got something to show you, said the mysterious stranger. Let's go. Now look at that. Oh, is this gonna be my house? Or is this gonna be the forge? My house. I'm gonna say my house. 
What happened here? This was once the great blacksmith village, buzzing with people and raw talent. All of Elian came here to get the best metal, tools and supplies. But as you can see, that's not the case anymore. I mean, the building's a bit... Mm. Got charm, though. When the last blacksmith disappeared, no one took their place and style became abandoned. Silly rumours that Tvasta went too far in their quest to become a master and triggered a curse. Too many feared going mad. Abandoned, huh? That doesn't sound too good for business. Yes, but we are going to change that. There's plenty of scrap supplies lying around. I do love scrap. It would start with this forge, but together we could rebuild this place. <laughs> why are you doing all of this? Why? Yeah, why is this man? Because he's wearing like a blacksmith apron. Why is this man just randomly in this abandoned town that I'm assuming doesn't have any amenities in it? Like, there's no shops or anything like that. So... Sus. Bit sus of this man, but he's been nice so far. Oh my god, how did I not notice? I used to be a blacksmith too, but I lost my arm and that put a stop to my practice. <laughs> Ever since, I haven't felt very useful. I think taking on a project like this could help me find purpose in life again. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yes it is. If you and I are to rebuild this village, you need to be familiar with the design table. Show me. Okay. So, what looked like a massive ass church was actually his house. And everything I need is in there. Okay, interact with the table in front of the house to build your forge. This music's really chill as well. I know that that's there, but I just wanted to see what was over here. Got some little mushrooms. Our house is like a little crooked, wobbly castle. Like something out of disenchantment. Uh, free construction for a forge. I have to hold it. There we go. And you can build a railway. I love a, a game, a, a good game that has a mixture of like cute art, easy to pick up and play, um, and a really nice, just chill soundtrack. I'm a sucker for a good soundtrack. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Good enough. Aren't we all? As you're. Renown, re as your renown on Elian grows, new renovations around the village will become available. That sentence didn't make sense to me, and I think that's a me problem. <laughs> Rebuilding the village will be good for business. It might even encourage people to move back. As much as I can, but make sure to come back here and take care of the place. I will. Dad, can I call him Dad? Dad. Yes, Dad. Okay. Okay, you are now dad. My trusty cheese knife has been stolen and I need a new one. It needs to be balanced and sharp, as all cheese knives should be. Do you need a refresher after the hit you took getting thrown overboard? Yes! No, I accept the help, my man. You need it, trust me. I'm sure it is. Take the schematic and let's head inside. I'll walk you through the steps. Let's get forging. Oh, this is so cute. Over to your left is the smelter where you can melt raw material into something you can work with on your anvil. Oh, I get to hit something as well. This is perfect. When you're in a hurry, you can use the lever to make the fire hotter and speed up the process. Use the ore I gave you to practice with it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, press to select one from the stack, hold to select the whole stack. Press to remove one item from the selection, hold to deselect everything. Press to destroy selected or held item. Okay, so F to add, E to remove, R to destroy. Smelter does not require your assistance to transform ore into ingots. 
However, you can speed up the process by interacting with the lever next to it. Pull the lever, cronk. I mean, it's not taking very long. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I need to get involved. Um, in front here is your anvil. All you need to do is hammer the metal to make it fit the shape you have in your mind. My mind palace. Try it out by forging a small rectangular iron plate with the ingots you just made. What if you wanted a cheese knife? Hammer on the pieces outside of the green border to make the hot ingot match the shape. Oh, this is cool. Outside, so. Oh, it's like a cute little mini game. Oh, I love it when they do things like that. To the right of the door is your grindstone. It's the perfect tool to sharpen and polish your items. Try it on the piece of metal you've just forged. Pay close attention to your timing. Oh god. Timing is not my jam. Okay. Watch your timing to press the directional buttons that matches the little arrow. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I can do that for now. Use the schematic I gave you to figure out how to put the knife together. Get to make a knife, I get to make a knife, I get to make a knife, it's a cheese knife. It's gonna be a fabulous cheese knife and look really pretty on my cheese board. Fun, fun little story. Um, I got my mother a fancy rose gold looking cheese knife set for Christmas. Um, and it's one of the bougiest things I've ever bought in my life. Uh, hold to assemble. Right. Aha! Okay, I should have pressed on that first. Uh, access rest at any time by pressing C. Like that. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. We did it, gang. We did it. Uh, okay. There's my knife. Is it going to let me like round it off a little bit? I feel like if it's going to be a cheese knife, it needs to be. Wait, what do I do with this now? Do I just go back? Yes, I just go back. I am overthinking everything. Okay. And it's night time. The map is even prettier at night. That's so cute. Let's give you a knife. Stranger I just met. Because you're not going to attack me with it, I hope. Some people can be very demanding and won't accept anything but the best. You need inventory to build things. You're going to need to forage. I love foraging. There's an abandoned mine east of here. It should have enough ore to last you for a while. Okay, so it's it's the blacksmithing equivalent of Stardew, is what it is. And I'm sorry if that annoys people, because I know people tend to get annoyed when you compare everything to Stardew. Um, but there's a reason that we compare games like this to Stardew. That's not a bad thing. That is a very high compliment, if you ask me. They left in haste, so save your money. I'm sure you'll find everything you need there. I like this. It's like, it makes me feel like I've accomplished something. Interact with the signs to leave the village. That looks like it could be a barn. Do you want to leave this scene and go to the world map? Yes, I do. 
Uh, each step will decrease your energy by different amounts based on how strenuous the terrain is. Oh my god, this is ace. Um, yes. I don't think I've ever played anything that has a map that's interactive like that. There will be games out there, obviously, and like, let me know, let me know what you've played that have maps and things like that, but that's pretty cool. It's a novelty for me still, I haven't seen that before. Into the mines we go. Wait, I don't have anything to mine with. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I walked right past my pickaxe <laughs> and my brain needs a minute and I need to take some juicy steaks out of the fridge so I will be back in just a moment <laughs> hello fellow travelers I am back the steaks have been retrieved from the fridge so that you can get to room temperature before we cook them as they should be. I say that we, not me, I cannot cook. But hey, the steaks have been freed. Um, and I have a pickaxe. And that is all that matters. <laughs> and a massive pouch, apparently. A mahoosive pouch. Okay. <laughs> Keep it out. We're in the mines. What are you doing? I don't trust that bridge. Okay. Oh, is that is that as far as you let me go? Oh, that bridge doesn't feel very right, good. Um, hello, sneaky Sam, <laughs> who's not so sneaky because he literally ran up to me screaming. What are you doing here? I'm collecting some ore. You fool! Now leave. Is this how this is gonna break? And I'm gonna end up in like the cabin. No one sent me. Calm your ass down. You've seen too much. What have I seen? There we go. Bye, Sam. <laughs> it was nice knowing you for the 30 seconds that you were waving knives at me. Thank God I landed better than that guy. <laughs> I should try to find my way out before one of his bandit friends comes looking for him. Can I? Can I? I want your knives. No, I want your knives. God damn it. Uh, it's not that one, it's not that one, there's only one other one, there we go. Dear Sneaky Sam, how many times do I have to send this to you? Your oath to the sneaky society is never ending, so there is no need to remove your ring. I am tired of making you a new one, so find it. It has to be lying around that cave of yours. If you can't, you won't be able to gain access to our secrets, and my man won't deliver the loot to you anymore. You will find the code to your share of the last job at the bottom of the letter. Good thieving and many bad deeds be with you. XOXO, sneaky boss. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're just going to say that that says love, because that's what it looks like and that is how I will remember it. Right. I just, why can't I have his knives? Yeah. It's going to teach me how to jump. There we go. Oh, look at that. A roll as well. So this is Sneaky Sam's cave. Oh yeah. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Birding. Oh, Sam, you fool. Okay. 
think I'm getting used to this now. There we go. Tuck and roll. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Oh, that could be load-bearing. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> could have ended very badly. Um, love. Love, 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 love. With a Y. Lovey? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to swap all. Does that legitimately like... Okay, swap all doesn't mean swap all. Swap all means take all. Lesson learned. Uh, okay. Let's go back over the gap. And get our tesseract. Is that all that is? Scrap. Just some scrap. Am I a joke to you? Okay. No! No, I'm an idiot! I am a joke! Uh, can I go back down? No! I would like to go down, please. I missed the ore on the bottom level and then I thought I could go back down. Wait, if I go back in, will it let me go down? Please let me go down. Please. Okay. Okay, it will. <sighs> I didn't even need to go out and in. I was just very... stitious. And F. This man is the kangaroo of blacksmiths. Look at that pouch. He can hop, he can punch, and he has a mahoosive pouch. And very floppy hair. Right, cool. Can I go this way at all? No. Do you want to leave the scene and go to the world map? Yes, I do, please. Uh, interact with certain tiles and use the tools you forge to create new paths and opportunities. Um, so this is because I got the pickaxe, right? I don't have an... Ah! I oh, know, that's the mine. That's where I came from. Yes. I don't want to go back into the mine. Oh, my dude's tired. And he's not in there. <laughs> I'm gonna make you walk a couple more steps. Gotta get them steps in. Is he inside? Is he outside? It'd be inside, right? Where it's warm. You'd want to be where it's warm. He is in fact not inside either. <laughs> where is this man? Is he like... Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello, you're late. Where are you? <laughs> oh, my dude looks like a zombie. I was attacked by someone with a bandana, like a banana, bandana and a cape, and then the bridge collapsed and I got trapped in a lower level of the mine. You probably encountered one of the sneakies, they usually all talk, but it's best to avoid them. <laughs> Did you still manage to get the ore we need? Of course. Great, you should go back to the house and rest for a bit before we continue. Yes, Dad, I will do just that. Once you're back on your feet, come back to see to me. Oh, my poor dude's doing a little zombie shuffle. Go, my little man. Is it this one? It's this one. Uh, when do you want to sleep? I mean, it's night time now, so... I'm going to say until morning. Ah, look at this! Oh, look 
call the achievement. I love it. Um, choose a power up adds one extra life to the Anvil mini game. Reduces by five percent the price to buy items. Adds five. We're gonna go with energy because it sucks when you're on a roll and your character just burns out. And we haven't seen a merchant yet, so I'm gonna go with that. Let's go and find. Every time I say let's go and find him, he just runs into view. He just was the strangest thing. I was sitting here smoking my pipe when a small rabbit hopped by and winked at me. I'm, I'm questioning what is in that pipe. Anyways, while you were resting, I made a trip to Strom, the lumberjack's village east of here. Our all villages differentiated by skill. So, segregation. They are hubs for specialised artisans and masters of their trade. But what really matters is that I showed them the knife you made me. Long story short, you can thank me later for your first few business opportunities. <gasps> That's how I'll get an axe. Yeah. Think of me as your agent. Thank you, but why are you so eager to help out a stranger? You're not a stranger, you're a blacksmith. <laughs> you sowed a seed of hope in me to see Stahl get back to its full potential. This village used to be very lively and full of happy memories and family. I'd like to look around one day and feel peace. Now that a blacksmith is back, I think I can start to make amends with the past. You should find those customers. Yes, I should. Head east, look for Myrtle. She's the chief of Strom. You will need her trust to be taken seriously by the other villagers. I'm gonna assume that this is east. Yeah, I hope it is. I'm just assuming that up is north, which... Um... No. Ah! How do I get east? Oh wait, I can... <laughs> I don't have an axe, so I can't get through that. Where am I meant to go, my man? Is that... I'm, I'm an idiot. I am a mahoosive tool. Um, and I didn't do the never eat shredded wheat rhyme. And I got used... I must mix that up. So I am a fool. A fool. Stay true business. Oh, look at that axe. My name is Nix. I've come to see if Strom is in need of a blacksmith. I'm really not much of a threat. Oh, kid. Don't sell yourself short. I like to think that this medieval looking dude is called Ash after Ash Williams. Metal will be pleased to hear there is a new blacksmith on Elliot. Go meet her, she's the woman with the big axe. So the woman that's just walked down here to see what's going on. And then walked away. That woman. Okay. Let's go find Myrtle, here she is. And she's walking past me again. You're not from around here, are you? What gave me away? Oh my god, who are you? <laughs> that's terrifying. I'm new to Elian, my name is Nex. Justin said you could use a blacksmith. It's true, my people could really use your skills. We've been having a hard time doing our duties without a blacksmith, dull axes, and all. However, I would like to see your work for myself before I let you take any job from here. In the past, Strom had a board where villagers could post their requests and orders, but it's not in good condition anymore. Bring me the tools to fix it and we'll post orders there for you. If I'm able to use the board to take orders, it seems like a great offer to me. What exactly would you need? I'd say a handful of nails and a hammer should do the trick. Okay. So I need to make nails and a hammer. 
Let's go for the hammer. And bump into every mountain available because that's what I do apparently. Okay, well, I picked up loads of stuff in the. Oh, look at him just puffing away on his little pipe. I picked up loads of stuff in the cavern, so I should have what I need. I hopefully have what I need. We're about to find out. Oh, I have so much ore. Do I actually? I'm just curious. Do I actually need that yet? I don't know how to make these things. Oh, look! I do know how to make them. Yeah. Iron hammer, an iron plate, and a wood log, and then three sharpened strips. Okay. Iron plate. And then... Iron strips. Oh, wait. Okay. Help <laughs> help my breath through that. Alright, let's forage some strips. Oh no, that's 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 the bit I'm supposed to be keeping. Didn't mean to hit that. There we go. Okay. Cool. I just sharpened my pickaxe for no reason. All right, <laughs> practice. Is I have to do them one at a time. Okay. I guess you would have to do them one at a time, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, now we combine them. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Wait, what? I didn't want to make a hatchet. Okay, three strips. I wanted to make a hammer. Where have I gone wrong? <laughs> um, I might as well make these. Well, I'm at it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see the problem. I sharpened my metal and I wasn't supposed to. Alright, let's go do some smelting, I guess. All of it. Smelt all of it. Um, so, yeah, do, n <laughs> if you want my advice, 
and I suggest you take it. Don't smell all your R in one go. Because um, even if you press the speed up button, it still takes about four minutes to do 175 all. So yeah, don't do that. Um, but that's why I make these mistakes, so you don't have to. Uh, so now... We... Where is my all? Oh, do I have to pick it up? I do. Uh, now we make things. Badink. Badink. Yo, um, what else do I need? I think that's it. I skip that step. And then I put one of you there, and I put you there. And I do this. And I should get a hammer. Aha! There we go. That's what I wanted to do the first time. Um, I'm gonna, seen as I made one, by accident, I'm going to sharpen up my hatchet. Uh, is there anything else I can make? Hmm. Let's say I would like to make an axe because I feel like I'm gonna need this. Iron sharpened plate. So that's why I made the hatchet, right, okay. Um, and two wooden logs. See, I can make that. Let's go. Make an axe. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, what? Eh? Oh, but it's not very good. Why is it red? Why is it red? Okay. Mm. Let's make an axe. Hope that it works. Okay, right. Now, I've got very little energy left, but now we can go see this lady. I'm calling on this lady because I've forgotten her name, Myrtle. Let's go see Myrtle. I'm not going to be able to get back from this, I don't think, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, where is the crazy lady? Where's she gone? There she is. Come back! No, it's you. Uh -huh. okay. okay, okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. Oh, they have a bar! Uh, yes, actually, I do have your tools. Splinter has been asking for you. <gasps> oh, who's Splinter? Oh, oh, that's a shame. I'm just meandering up to this poor kid like a zombie. What can you do? I was wondering if you would be able to make me an awesome knight's helm. I've got a sword, but I want a helmet like Ash got from his dad. Something that looks really cool. Can you go and see how this looks? I really want the exact same. Okay. Who are you? Oh, you're a merchant! I have... Uh. I don't know what I just did, but that was really cool. Oh, I had two coin purses. Okay, okay. I think I understand. Um, I don't need... Okay. 
We'll take some of them just in case. Where's this Ash fella? Where has he gone? Please don't be at the other side of the map. Here he is. Snoring by the looks of it. Could I take a look at it? I can do better. I've got the old schematic, hell yes, that Tvasta made for my dad years ago. Oh, make this the new kid helmet. But first, we must zombie shuffle away. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in 12 steps. But I can pull this off in 12 steps. Oh, no. No. I was so close. If I'd not have... Oh, if I'd not had bumped into that, I might have done that. Damn it. <laughs> Damn my clumsiness. Oh, and the guy with the horse picked it. Whoa, 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 what just broke? What just broke? Excuse me. What item of mine did you break? I would <laughs> I would like to roll. I would like to know, good sir. Uh, inventory. Hatcher, axe. I gave up my hammer. Ooh. Oh, that looks like fun. Okay, okay. And that looks like a scythe. So. Um. I can't remember what I need. Oh my god. One by two. Okay. This one. Fuck. <laughs> Put that all right. Ugh. Very good at that mini game. But I will be, I will get better. It will be fine. <laughs> eh. Right. And I think the last thing for today's episode is to make this kid a helmet. Let's go. Uh, iron kettle helm. I need a 1x2 curved, 1x2, and who I do. I'm not gonna rush this. Oh, you only get three hits anyway, that's weird. Do I? No, I absolutely do not do that. Um, I do not sharpen it. This one. Fuck. I think I sharpen that though. No. No, I don't. I don't sharpen any of them. Okay. Uh, one of these. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. 
I think I needed to make two of those. Wait for it to come back around. Okay, there we go. I don't think I sharpen any of them. And then I go to this. And it's... Pacha, 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 pacha. Why are they all red? Please work. <gasps> Yay! Ah, oh, that's what I like. I don't get why it's red, unless it's like a different kind of tool, maybe. I didn't do anything wrong on that one, so you don't understand. But alas, it is red. What does this mean? Okay, I think it's like Coral Island and Stardew where it saves while you sleep. So, we are going to go to bed. Until morning, obviously. Yeah. Saving. There we go. So that's how it works. Amazing. Okay. Had an absolute blast with this. We'll be continuing this as well. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you did, go check it out. It is on Game Pass if you have Game Pass. If not, you can also find it on Steam. Um, yeah, show it some love. It's a really good game. It's a really cute game. Um, and if you've got better timing than I have, the mini games are very, very easy. And I shall see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.